Hey everybody, welcome to Relax J Stream number 587. No, probably not that many, but uh, hey Joe Retro, hey Christmas Elf, welcome. Thanks for dropping in. Uh, we are going to play Bastion. Um, I've heard a, a lot of good stuff about this game. I know it's a bit of an older game now. I think it's almost like 10 years old. Uh, this is, was made by the same developers as Hades, which for many people was like the game of the year uh, in 2020. Uh, maybe we'll try that one day. But for now we're doing Bastion. I've heard that playing Bastion would actually give you a good idea on if you'd be into Hades. I'm sure there's differences about it, but uh, just gonna check some stuff. Anti-aliasing, we, we generally want that on, yes? I think. Uh, subtitles on, as always. And that looks good. All right. AFAC. Bastion Time Super Giant Games. This was their debut game, actually. Oh, cool. What other games have they done besides Bastion and Hades? Normal mode or no sweat mode? So this is like an easier mode, gotcha. It's always nice to have multiple difficulties, like just in case. Proper store is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this oh, one. one of these things. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. Stranded on a rock in the sky. Oh. He gets up. Okay. Sets off for the bastion, where everyone agreed to go in case of trouble. Interesting. Um. The style of this. Like, I know it's not, but it almost gives off claymation vibes. Something about the way that the animation is. Very interesting already. Like you said, most stories start at the beginning, but this is not the, the beginning of the story. Feet as it point in the way. He don't stop to wonder why. This game doesn't know me. He doesn't stop to wonder why. No, that is exactly... What I would Just do. In the road. All right, guess that's our friend, Mr. Hammer. Touch and reunion. Okay, interesting. B button to attack. He sees what's left of the Ripley walls. Years of work undone in an instant. In the uh, So apparently the games were Bastion, Transistor, Pyre, and then Hades. Gotcha. The pastel colors too, says Christmas Elf. Yeah, that's probably part of it. So we can roll with this button. That's probably some type of dodge roll. I like that these things are just destructible. That a survivor. No man. It's a gas fella. Yeah, it almost has like a stop motion animation feel to it. The way that the frames are very deliberate. It's not it's purposely not like a 60 FPS type thing, I guess you'd say. That, that, that's why I always argue that it's FPS, in a sense, is kind of an artistic... Uh, it can be an artistic choice rather than just like, oh, more FPS is better all the time. I mean, you have stuff like uh, Spider Into the Spider-Verse where... An the frames are all done hand by hand sky. and ain't a gift from the gods but it'll have to do fang repeater okay so we have a gun now still to spin up the chamber ah oh but we have bullets let's see do we run out and then reload yep okay cool hey Joe retro this game is just too slow for me Well, so far, it's it's. Uh, I'm not having any problems with it. We will see as we go on. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Let it get health. Sometimes yep. you just need a drink. 
Ah, so we fill up bottles to heal from. Cool. The school of squirts tunnels up around them. We must have fled here from the mines. I wonder if there's a way to reload your uh, your gun without having to just waste the rest of them. Whoops. It's, it's interesting that the shoot it's button is the, the same thing. The shoot Stand button is the same as the pickup interact button. I think. Oh yeah, we're just full on water. Uh, 2D drawn stuff have less FPS naturally though. Yeah. Into the Spider-Verse is a, is a 3D CGI movie, but instead of using in-between frames like most 3D animation would use, like automatic in-betweens. Everything is, is done frame by frame, which gives it a very unique look. Oh, Christmas, have you played this game? I didn't know that. I had no idea. That's right, this game is from like 2011, isn't it? Trusty Shield. Trusty Shield. I believe you could customize what buttons weapons are assigned to. I might want to do that because honestly, it does feel really. Security takes it for any thief. It feels kind of weird that the right face button is the melee, and then the left face button is the gun. Just personally. So. Special delivery. Gas fellas. Okay. All right, once these enemies are dealt with, I'm gonna see if I could customize the controls, because I do probably better to do that earlier on than later on, before I get used to uh, something that maybe I don't prefer. Uh, it plays good, but I don't like the narration thanks to Christmas Hall. My first experience playing this game was the Chrome extension version. Didn't know that. Uh, Christmas said I probably 100%ed this game. Wow. Oh, hey, Otto. Otto said they also made Miles a lower FPS than the experienced Spider-Man. Like half the FPS. Oh, yeah, I heard about that. Um, I assume when they say that, they meant more while he's doing, like, his Spider-Man stuff. Whoops. Like his his uh his animations like less graceful, I'm guessing, like while he's being Spider-Man. Kid sees the weight of the bastion out the window. All right, let's see if we can uh, controls. All right, so that's the evade button. What is the top button supposed to be? Oh, heal, right. All right, let me think for a second. I think I want to make heal this button. And I want to make attack, melee attack that, projectile attack that. And I think I'll leave evade there because, uh, oh, there is a reload button. That's one of the R's. RS, whatever that is. Um, oh, right stick click probably. Um, you can even alternate through targets. Okay. Secret skill, I don't think we have that yet. Defend LT. Okay, I'm gonna leave everything else for a second. Let me. It's a bit of a drop. Okay, yeah, I, I already prefer how this feels a lot more. And then right face button. I, I could heal right now, actually, because there's another one. Oh, no, I can't. I have full health. And then that's to block. Oh, my God. <laughs> His little footsteps. It's really funny. Uh, narration is one of the best parts of this fact. I could see how that would be, you know, some people may have a preference on that. I think it's fine so far. Um, 
Jay, have you heard of the FPS called Bullet Storm? I've heard of it, but I've never played it. Uh, and that's block. And then, oh, we can aim here. And so if I shoot, okay, so there is a reload button. Um, although what, the fact that it's the right stick's a little weird. This is definitely gonna be one of those games where like there's there's a lot of buttons for me. Ronnie always wanted his ashes scattered here. Okay. I don't know if I'm supposed to be breaking this stuff. That looked like it was maybe a collectible or something. All right. Either the the main buttons I definitely prefer where they are now. He gets a good look at things on his way down. He lands on top of a breaker's bow. <laughs> okay. That ain't broke. All right. Guess we'll take that. Ooh. It's like an extra strong bow. Probably does a lot of damage. So does that mean we can swap weapons? Or did we just upgrade? a good perch for some target practice. You should draw the string all the way back. Wait, okay, there's a thing over here. The kid pockets a memento from the breaker, once the fastest man in the land. Okay, so we got something. How do we. Something stringy. Upgrade material for Breaker's Bow. Okay. A memento. Identification badge from the old days. All those official pieces. I thought I said we picked up the string, but the other thing was a memento. You'll be able to switch out your loadout before too long. Gotcha. Yeah, the narration definitely seems like it's been dynamic so far. Can I block? that, I wonder. Well, wh why uh, risk it? Ow. <laughs> oh, so we can't fall. Oh, we can fall off. The defenses still work. Bad news is they aiming for the kid. All right. At first, I thought maybe you couldn't walk off, but uh, <laughs> we have confirmed you can walk off. Ouch. Yeah, I kind of feel like I prefer the other gun, actually. This one's just a little slow. A little too slow. Oh, you automatically heal when you're full, gotcha. Rolling. See, RT is working here. For, um... On Shenmue yesterday, the RT button was just not working for whatever reason. Oh, you waste. Okay, you can only do that if you have that. Gotcha. You can't just go willy-nilly on your, your special techniques. He finds the distillery right next to the arsenal. Tough part of town. One Empty. sip of the spirits in that distillery. And the kid will feel like a new man. Ten. Oh, max health. Critical hit chance. Active at full health. Uh, absorb stray fragments. Um. Started as a bathroom prank. Okay, that sounds gross. Guess we'll try this. Right. Okay. So I guess as long as we have this in our inventory, some type of like inventory here we just we just permanently have the max health our distillery I guess whoops the arsenal is where the kid can pick the best tools for the job alright um fang repeater cannot move while firing reloads automatically 
This, so this is all we have right now. Yeah. Okay, so now we can swap between. Um. Roll in. That's the only. Oh, bolt burst. Spiral of bolts that deals damage in every direction. Okay, so there's another thing. We don't have this yet. Oh, because you need to have the breaker. Okay, bounce from target to target. Let's have this one on just to see what it looks like. So can you only swap your stuff out when you, you're at this place? Or I assume there's like multiple places you run into. Alright, let's see what it looks like. How do we do it again? I forgot. There we go. Whoa! Some of them squirts birthing like crazy in a couple of corn bins. Oh, we gotta they're coming out of this popcorn machine. So that's not exactly an amazing ability, but it looks kinda cool. In fact, I might even go back to the, uh, the hammer tornado. Um, a lot of the menus are contextualized as buildings like that, gotcha. This certainly is a strange world, it just slowly gets built in front of you. Whoops! You better watch a step. <laughs> Didn't realize I was going to fall right there. What's over here? That oh, another statue. The tutor. Once taught the kid good manners. He never used them though. Yeah. So there seem to be these uh these black statues we find that I assume oh, is some kind of collectible. Ouch! I gotta remember the, the tornado thing. Real close now. It's a little dangerous. Yeah, I think I prefer- whoops. I think I prefer this to the, um... The, the other bow. Like, it's pretty weak, but... Feels a little more satisfying, I think. Ouch. You swing very quickly, sir. The music is, is uh, quite good. I can agree to that. So these this must be the currency, the fragments we're picking up. Let's see if there's anything around here before I... Uh, this lead anywhere? Nope. Something heavy. It's a chunk of alloy. The smell of barley and spoiled blueberries fills the air. Upgrade material for Cal Hammer. I'm assuming we're gonna come up to the upgrade place soon. Oh God. Okay. Kid may be shooting the gun, but he oh, they shrink. Did. Oh God, they get really tiny. Ouch. I think the gunk, yeah, the gunk is slowing us down. That's not good. Oh, they could hurt each other. That's good. It's always nice to have enemies that could hurt each other. Oh, but he's like destroying the place. That's not good. Kid puts him out of his misery. We need to heal. some more of those. Damn, did I really take that much more damage? Oh, this guy's still alive. I was like, where is that coming from? He was so tiny, I couldn't see him.
Uh, love the music. Nothing quite sounds like Bastion. I definitely get like, uh, some kind of like almost like a Middle Eastern vibe with the music. He finds the core to the Wharf District. He steals the city's heart. Might as well. Might as well steal the city's heart. It's a very big might as well. The place is starting to fall. Place is starting to fall. That ain't good. See that core kid took was the only thing making this particular rock stay afloat. So I wonder if the whole game is like this, or if the prologue is just very dreamlike. Because this is very a very surreal situation. It's the whole fact we're getting a story and we're floating and things slowly appear as we get closer to it and all that stuff. That lies the skyways in sight. Whisks him where yep. it needs okay. to go. Now the kid sees something stranger still. His mind races. Okay, the bastion. Hey, we got achievement. Ride the wind and the stranger. Did anybody else survive? Anybody else? Was there anyone else besides the uh, enemies we were fighting? Sure enough, he finds another. He finds me. What the? You're the narrator? Okay. We talk for a spell. There's a bit of the Bastion's power in that crest. Enough to point the way to the cores. Cool. All I tell him is to set that core of his on the monument there. Then watch. Alright, you seem trustworthy. You got a little bit of a Colonel Sanders look going on there, but that's cool. Uh, the floating cities and landscape forming in front of you is what's literally happening. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure about that because that was a very abstract opening for a game. Alright, I guess we will see what happens here. Just like that, the bastion comes alive. Starts growing again. Growing stronger. Ah. Kids gotta put its power to good use. Now the Bastion can send him even farther into the wild unknown. Kid ponders what to build. Uh, distillery arsenal. Oh, so I need to like build a place in order to use the things here. Oh no, you didn't tell me this is gonna be like a sim- what the- Oh no, my controller. Oh no. Oh no. Please. <laughs> Escape wasn't pausing. <laughs> Whoops. One second, there we go, we're back. Yeah, I didn't know this was gonna be like a Sim City situation going on. Just zoom in and out. Oh, we can't use any- we can't do anything here except roll, actually. I guess we'd better build this, then. Um... I guess this, I don't know. Makes time to sample spirits from my personal supply. Alright, so critical hit chance, absorb three fragments. Hardy punch. Plus one chance to carry on if defeated. Ah. Plus one chance, that's kind of weird. Uh, aromatic beverage, yeah. Critical hit chance 100% when your health is below one third. Um, 33% speed while defending. And plus 2% max health. Um, I guess I'll do the, uh, also my base is turned up, I just realized. I was like, wow, the bass in this game is really strong, but I forgot I was listening to music earlier and I had my my bass speaker turned up. I think we'll do this for now. Fetching fizz is like a mouthful of nails, but the benefits are worth it. 
Nowhere near that complicated. Well, we'll see about that. So I guess I have to wait until I can build my uh, armory. So we can't swap our weapons yet. It's kind of a strange system. I don't know of many games where, like, you have to go to a specific place to swap out your abilities or weapons, and then you have to have a space to, like, build the spot to do that. The Skyway. Now the kid can ride the wind the distant land. Alright. So there's the Bastion. Uh, Workman Ward. Breaker Barracks. So this seems like a training place, and this looks like our main... Like, we, we're trying to find a core, basically. Uh, and we've cleared that area. Okay. So I guess we'll go here, then. Look for another core. It makes sense within the larger thematic whole of the game. lands at the intersection between bad and wrong. Ouch. Ought to be a core down one of these twisted streets. I almost wish that this had a twin stick type shooting element, because the fact that you use your shield like that, kind of. I wonder if you could set it to that, actually. Let's see. Like, if I go to attack two and then I use the stick... Oh, no, that doesn't do it. Well, actually, let's see something real quick. See if this kind of you have to click, but it doesn't really feel that great though. I'll probably put it back to what it was. I do like that they give you options. Okay, um Squirt steps. Won't be no field trip this time. The squirt steps. Kid ain't ever seen an elephant squirt before. That's just sounded wrong. The kid never seen an elephant squirt before. I don't think. Whoa. Just about anything. Except for this. It's quick for slicing. Oh, we found a new weapon. And we could throw it. Which I guess makes our projectile less important? I don't know. I don't know, I think I like the hammer a bit more. We don't have very much mobility with this. over a bit um wait where are our oh we don't have a special ability with this weapon and we can't swap weapons right Th that's kind of weird to me because like we just picked up a new weapon which i didn't mean to but now i can't just go back to the weapon i had maybe it'll make more sense as the game goes on like you said but it is a little strange i have to say Squirt lure, okay. They say even the most rambunctious squirts can be tamed. Squirts don't make the best of friends, but they can be useful in a pinch. No Why? Here. At least the kid got something for his trouble. I did. I don't. Uh, I don't understand what that was supposed to do. He's, ha he's he likes me, I guess. That's nice. Was it a baby? It looks about the same size. I think it's just a nice version. Them squirts just don't know when to So if I if I summon it, will they go to it? Will they distract it? Yeah, I guess they go after it. That's kinda messed up. 
Oh, it's still alive. Oh, I see. He heads for the east side, where windbags used to keep the local forge. Somehow that old forge is still standing. Ow. Inside the forge, Kay can fine tune those instruments of his. Uh, upgrade material for a kill hammer. Okay. So, are we buying these? Harder, heavier hammerhead that delivers greater force on impact. Especially weighted hammerhead that could punch through anything. 50% damage, 10 critical hit. I feel like. I don't think I do critical, hit, critical hits very often yet, so I haven't really been able to see what that's like. I know more damage is going to be good, like, no matter what. Oh, that cost a lot of money. Right, I guess we have that now. This is for the bow that I... Oh, draw speed! Okay, if the draw speed is increased... Then I might like it a bit more. Those are the materials you have, but it costs fragments to apply to the upgrade. Okay. Um. You know what? Let's go ahead and, and increase the draw speed. Maybe I'll, I'll like the bow more. Bow's like new again. But unfortunately, we don't have that bow equipped right now, so we can't. We can't try out the difference. I also feel like the the uh, interaction button shouldn't be where the attack buttons are. I feel like it should be the the roll button. But that's something that you can't swap over, I think. Can you? And his city crest won't bring it back. Oh yeah, there we go. Interact. Okay, I'll make that the roll button. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's a lot better. So now I won't accidentally go in there when I'm like hitting stuff. Okay. Oh my god, they're hitting my poor little baby. Sure it's strong. They take a lot of hits. Up north is where the gas for the foreman used to live. Tended to a flock. Ragged hood. No whack gas fellas all dress alike. A memento. Okay. Thing. I'm guessing those are just like collectibles basically. And there it is. But it's locked down tight in an alloy cage. Uh I don't even remember what weapons I used when I played through this. It's been so long. Yeah, I, I want to go back to my hammer. I'd like to do that as soon as I can. Oh, you can recover in midair. In fact, that's been doing no damage to me when they knock me up. I just have to catch myself, I guess. Good. These guys aren't very aggressive. Oh, never mind. Oh, they like me. That's why they weren't being aggressive. I just had to prove that I was better, I guess. Oh, we found the crystal. Grown, but it's too tough to fall. Might as well check the other side streets before leaving this hole. Uh, make sure you build the arsenal next time you have a core available. Chris myself said I used everything. Joe Retro, I guess, isn't super impressed. Hey, I thought you were supposed to like me now. I, I beat your king up. What did the guy said I was supposed to do? I forgot. I assume we're just trying to leave now.
Okay, we came here, we got our core, now we can build an he arsenal. Comes back, just like I knew he would. The well, where else am I gonna go, dude? His pack. The monument's calling for it. The wind Oh, you can ask right. him about and the, the mementos. The floor out from under him. And I guess that summoned that. That's nice. Ain't always much to say. He does it again. Only fair he decides what we build next. So we're we're stealing the cores from these other places and putting them here. Alright, so there's forge. Uh transmute scavenge materials and a weapon upgrades. Just need a place to build it right. So we're gonna do the arsenal so we can actually swap to whatever weapons we want. The bastion's a place of peace, but we can hold our own. If so we have to. we'll try the breaker's bow. So we can uh, see if we like it now with its new upgrade. And then we're gonna go to the hammer, which we've also upgraded. And Squirtler is pretty good. No doubt about it. After you get the core, you can either keep exploring or just go right back to the Bastion. Oh, can you like hit start and exit or whatever? Or do you mean just like leave, leave? Yeah. Jay, I picked up a copy of A Hat in Time today at Best Buy. Nice. I heard that's a good game. I definitely have to try that at some time. I uh, just haven't done it yet. All right. Um, I'm gonna, I think I want to keep do my world, though, now that I've powered my hammer up. I like he had a unique dialogue just for those two, that two weapon combination. Oh, what's up here? Picked up traces of oh, same thing. While the kid was out. All right, so there's a core here, um, and then this is a, I guess, a challenge or training area. Um, let's go ahead and try this just to see what it is. Release the arrow at just the right moment for a power the shot. used to come here for target practice. Used to play a little game, see who could bust the most targets in the fewest shots. All right. I already have the breaker's bow, but he's focused. He's armed, and he's off. Um. Can I like go over here and then? Oops. Oh, but the shot. Oh, it does keep going. Okay. All right. As soon as it flashes, that's when you let go. Okay. So, did we get something for that? Oh, there's a target down here. I completely missed. Didn't realize it was there. It's all right, solid we won two out of the three items. So we got some string and uh, something fancy. Upgrade material for a certain weapon. Uh, I didn't realize that physical copies. There's a sweet spot for charging the bow to get max damage. Yeah, it seems like as soon as you flash. So let's see if we could get that. Um, Kid ain't had enough of the breakers' barracks. So now we know what these things are. These are like training areas. So I'm trying to think of if we lined this up a certain way. Uh, I think what I did before is basically the right idea. I just have to do it as efficiently as possible. Whoops, I wasn't aiming the right way. So we're gonna like aim it, now oh, whatever. Ah. It takes practice. Dang it. Mighty strong bow helps too. Hmm. See, it says switch targets, but like, by the time I'm aiming, 
I'm already focused on like trying to time the flash. Damn it, I was hitting him in like in a row last time. Ah, what am I doing wrong? Ah, let's restart it. Joe said I got it for the Switch. It came with a code for the DLC. Nice. Like, I don't know if there's a way to aim your bow before you're, you start charging it or not. Ah, see? Because now it's like... Because if I can aim at that, then... If I'm aiming at this straight up, then I should hit the one above it. There we go. So it's those two. Yeah, but then, see, that happens. I start aiming towards other things. Maybe this, because it's right in front of me? There should be a setting for free aim. Yeah, I would definitely like to free aim. Because it's aiming, lining the shots up are kind of impossible otherwise, because I just aim at whatever random one. It's weird that first time I was like lining him up pretty good. Let's see. Um, I don't know, I don't see options for that. So if I'm standing here and I and I aim straight, then I should hit all of these. But see, he points to the right. Instead, he starts aiming towards something else, and that's a problem. Are you trying to move with the right stick? I think it's on the left stick. Um, I wasn't trying to move it at all because I didn't think it would work. Okay, maybe that helps. Yeah, see, he's still moving around of his own accord, though. There's a chance we could get these both in one shot. Let's see. There we go. Maybe that was enough. How do we check for that? Oh, just second prize. Okay, so we still need to do better than that. Draw your bow and then use the left stick to see if that works. It looked like it might have been helping a little bit. I think they want you to just pick your target with the shoulder buttons while you're charging, but that, for me, that's too much because I'm already trying to focus on the, the, the flash of the bow. That might just be what they want. See? Because, like, he moved to the left. I don't know. Yeah, what's up with that? On M plus KB, you just have a cursor. Oh, mouse and keyboard. Yeah, because I do not want him aiming down there. That's not doing us any favors. so weird we did pretty good that first time i mean all i could think of is that they let's see 
that ought to do it. It's just going to be harder to pay attention to both things at once. See, I didn't move it in time. Damn, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. It's kind of bad because it's like the first uh, challenge. So if I can't do the first challenge, that's not going to bode well for later challenges. keep forgetting about that one down there. I'll try one more time. I don't think I'm getting anywhere close though. Uh, there's one or two challenges with each weapon. <sighs> yeah, it's just, I feel like the lining up part is not meant to be part of the challenge. I feel like it's supposed to be just like, oh, you need to pick which way to shoot and then you just need to time the shot right. I feel like the, me having to switch what I'm pointing at is kind of an unintended extra thing I'm having to deal with, if that makes any sense. Does block lock you onto a target? Um, it doesn't let me block in this section. We, we can't use our melee weapon or block or anything, we're just limited. We could dodge roll though. It's weird that it automatically points at not the thing that's right in front of you. Like, what the heck was that? Damn it. Alright, last try, I swear. I know I, I always do that, but... It just... I wish I could... Mm. I could potentially do this in three more shots if I don't screw up at all. I screwed up. <laughs> I can't get less than eight. Oh well. Damn it. Whatever. We tried, I guess. He returns with some of the materials we need. I don't think I returned with any of the materials we needed, dude. Did I? Sometimes uh -huh. a single look says it all. Alright, um... I guess we'll just move on. Damn it. That's the first challenge. We couldn't finish it. Uh, core detected... Oh, there's two cores. Didn't we, haven't we been here already? Oh no, that was the one. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll, we'll go try to get another core then. Yeah, the aiming thing with the, uh, In better days, with the that bow is, is kind of strange. In the skin on the score. Are these games meant to be played with the mouse and keyboard normally? Of all the plans to survive the calamity, it You could probably switch stand, over to mouse and keyboard and beat it easy. Blast the thing. I might have to try that after this, we'll see. Something nasty. Upgrade for Fang Repeater, okay. I'm, I'm just so used to playing games with the, with the controller that I don't usually think about using a mouse and keyboard. If there's a core, he figures it ought to be deeper down. And this is like some prickly thorn bush. Like oh, the core's right there. For or stuck inside one of those fancy cages. There's no break in a cage like that, but the kid tries anyway. <laughs> like how he calls you out like that. Find a way to spring it open. Oh, we got a new special ability. We can use mines now.
the the weird thing is like I feel like if they just applied the sh the uh, your bow to the right stick and you just aim and shoot with the right. Oh, you know what? I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I might try that yeah. again. He throws a switch. Oh, is that really it? Possibly go wrong. Oh, that's really it. Nothing went wrong. Oh, that was an easy level. Quite a bit, as it turns out. Yeah, free money. That totally went wrong. The core ever so slow. Is it? All kid can do is wait. Ship and start falling in. It's just slowly opening. Oh yeah, some squirts are helping us. Not even ones we summon, they, they just happen to be nice apparently. Not the narration is more annoying than cool at this point, so Joe Retro. I I'm still a little mixed on how I feel about it as a whole. Oh wow, this guy's helping me. Like, I'm not sure if... If I would grow tired of it after a while. I haven't yet. But it definitely is like taking a commitment on the player better enjoy hearing this narration because we're gonna be doing it for every little thing that happens. I almost wonder if it's the voice though. Like I don't know if you're meant to hear that kind of cool narrator voice that often. We got another momento. Wait, what? Oh, mines! I thought I had the... Okay. I thought I still had the uh, tornado attack equipped. Dude, that cage is taking forever to open. He's gonna count it down. Seven. Give or take a few more seconds. <laughs> Give or take a few more seconds. Stuff like that is definitely a good use of the uh, the narration. Just gotta get to the nearest bar. Guess we could just leave now. Oh wait, no we can't. Someone came with us. I still remember the look on his face after that one. All right, now we can the build another place. Finished, but the new world is just getting started. We got a new memento. Folks voyage crossed the boundless sea to found Ceylandia. It was good living here for a while. All right. Squirt. That sound effect reminds me of something from Donkey Kong Country. Uh, come on, give the little tiger a break. Wait, you can only make him spin so many times? Why is that? I don't get it. All right. Uh, plans for your faculty. I guess that's our only option anyways. A lot of things need fixing up in this world. And we can start right here. Nasty. Oh yeah, I needed to try out the, uh, before we upgrade that. Let's go try... 
I have a bit of an idea with this, um, this oh wait that's not it is it there it is with this let's see if I can get this to actually work All right, so yeah, we can't use the right stick at all. So I'm thinking, no, yeah, that, that was pretty much my plan. So I guess we can try to switch to mouse and keyboard. Whoops. Uh... All right, let's say we do mouse and keyboard, okay. So, W, W, uh, whatever, I'll just figure it out. How do you walk around? What the? Oh god, I feel like these aren't set up how they're supposed to be set up. So hang on, how do you walk? Move up, move down. S to stop. What? Why is attack 2 W? I am so confused. This, There's no way to like walk around or anything? Gotta be a way to walk around. WASD is not letting me move, actually. Like, it's just the. Oh, you click to walk. Really? Like Diablo or something? Okay. Did not expect that. Um. Doesn't really seem like the type of game you would want to do that, but. At least we can- I think we can do this challenge now. Let me just restart. That is- is quite strange. Uh, Fax said what? It was definitely WASD when I played. Yeah, I don't know. It's- I think the options are either all keyboard or all mouse, strangely. But let's see if this helps. Oh, I didn't do the timing right, though. We'll still fail it. This time I, I won't have an excuse. Okay, we can still get this in three more shots. Yeah, pretty sure that's the least amount. Even if we don't get the prize, at least we'll, our, we'll beat our old score. There we go. Okay, we must have been one off. Yeah, I guess you have to do it in five shots. Uh, but the playtime can vary a lot depending on how much optional stuff you engage with. Oh, nine-ish hours. That's not too long. Uh-oh, did the game freeze? Does the game autosave? I hope the game autosaves because it might have just froze. Yeah, I don't remember coming up against any save point, so I'm assuming that it auto-saves. But I just want to make sure before I close the game, because it, it does look frozen right now. Why don't we check? Does Bastion auto-save? Game auto-saves when you enter a mission or proving ground. But it does not autosave when you enter the bastion. Okay. All right. Yeah, because yeah, the game did crash. That's we've been having bad luck with games crashing lately. At least this one was an hour into the game before it happened. Shin movie was like, oh, you pressed a button. 
That's the crash a game button. I think the game got mad that we found um, a, a way around that challenge I was having trouble with. And then it crashed. Oh, it's still on mouse and keyboard. All right, continue. Lure foes into attacking each other to even the odds. That's always good. All right. Oh. Okay, we can hold the click button down to keep walking. I don't know. I'm assuming nobody plays the game like that. Like the uh, Diablo style. Maybe someone does. Maybe someone really likes Diablo and they're like, I want to play every game like that. It's very strange. Alright. Let's do this. Damn it. Oh, we can't do it now. You have to literally not miss a shot. As far as I can tell. Fact said when I played it was WASD plus attacking on the mouse. Yeah, because when we go to the um, options, you have gamepad. See, now I have to go to gamepad to move it. Mouse. Now I have to use the mouse or WASAD, but it seems like that's it. Uh, the standard control scheme, apparently. Classic control scheme. A fluid influence-based control scheme for a smoother analog feel. Use the left mouse button to move towards the mouse cursor. Maybe, maybe the version you played was different, because this one definitely seems to want you to just use either the mouse or key keyboard by itself. Chris Myself, when you played this game, what control scheme did you use? Now I'm curious. Chris myself said keyboard and mouse. That's really strange. I wonder why I can't find an option to use those. All right, cool. Well, in fact, you're right. I was able to do it once we switched to that. Uh, I think I will continue using the gamepad though, because this is a weird. <laughs> All right. I also just realized I didn't even know what we picked up. I just wanted to beat the challenge. I almost don't believe it when he says he passed the breakers challenge. He didn't even believe it. Where'd he go? Oh, he's up here. What else is there to say? Oh, I should have read whatever it was we just picked up because uh, the game's getting to be a decade old, so there's bound to be a few quirks that come with age. Sure. That's fair. All right, um, we don't have that weapon yet. We could use this. Do we have money for this? Devastating arrow bristling with a hundred stab weed barbs. More damage. Cause damage over time. So it's kind of like poison. Two target penetrations per shot. Oh, that could be good actually. Oh, but we're already going down this way? Or can we... Oh, we could pick any at any point. We already paid for both. Nice. 
That's cool. Damn, but that's quite a... I wish I could have both of these. Hmm. I'm gonna leave these for now, because I don't know if I have a, an upgrade that I prefer yet. Alright. So, this is another proving ground. Uh, we just did that one, so let's maybe come back to that later. We'll, we'll go find another core. Yeah, I didn't realize the game was only around nine hours long. Because I, I assume this would be around, like, I don't know, like a 20-hour game. To walk to sundown path. The kid ain't here for pleasure, though. Because um, I, I hadn't planned on playing through this full game. But if it is only nine hours, and if, gets to the core before the kid. if I'm enjoying it enough, and if enough people are interested, I, I may actually play through it all. I guess we'll step. see. A single panic squirt bring the whole place down. We do have the special, uh, the Patreon stream poll coming up on Friday, so a reckless kid which I might actually be busy on Friday. So just so so everyone knows, we'll probably do the poll on Friday, and I might actually stream the winning game on the the following Saturday. Um. But you know that's good. You know, it gives people more time to vote. Even though there's probably either going to be like two choices in the poll or one choice. There, there might not even be a poll. It depends on if another person besides uh, Classic Joe submits a game request. This place is just falling apart. You know, I do like the special ability that the currency flies towards us. It's actually quite useful. They should have a DLC for this game where it's the Stanley Parable guy narrating it. Skybridge. Ah, okay. Oh no, we missed something over there. Damn it! I didn't realize till it was too late. Oh damn it! I hope it wasn't that important. There was probably a memento or something. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll just keep going forward. Well, if we mastered the winds in the old days, we already missed something. It, it don't matter at this point. Well, ain't no survivor stole the thing. Try to get to that core. Scumbag ate it by mistake. The scumbag ate it by mistake. Like the kid, that core ain't coming back. The game seems pretty forgiving so far. I'm on the normal difficulty, but um, at least in this early area, we are able to kind of blow through it pretty easily. What the? Oh no, we died actually. Right when I when I started saying how we could blow through it. Although I had no idea what was going on, honestly. Like, how do I get off of this platform now? Can I not? Why did I go over there? <laughs> that was weird. Even gas fellas need oh, there's a thing over there. Time time. Oh, I was supposed to take it over there, but it like, something happened. Uh, if you crit path, it can blaze through real fast. The way Supergiant usually structures their games, the default difficulty is very approachable, and they give you a bunch of modifiers to make it more challenging. Ah, okay. In all this toil, Kid keeps coming back to an overwhelming question. Who else could have survived the calamity? Where's my pet cat?
So he didn't find the core that time, but that ain't about to stop us. Wait. Oh, we didn't even find the core. What a fail. I didn't even realize it. Okay. Wait, area cleared. Oh, the core was missing. Okay. So I didn't miss it. It's just we we looked and there it actually wasn't there. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I thought maybe it had to do with the fact I missed that uh, extra spot. The dead welcome him with open arms. The calamity took everybody after all. The kids sees it plain, frozen faces all around. Oh, so these statues aren't statues, they're literally people. You don't much care to see them. Not like this. Okay, so th it's kind of like the the dragons in Spyro, how they got turned to stone. Except instead of saving them, we're just destroying them. I guess I don't have to be doing that, but I've already started and now I have to destroy them all. But someone did. So uh, it's helps. not about the cores, but the friends you find along the way. All these friends are turned to stone, and I'm crushing them to dust. I don't know if that's someone who ain't like Mr. Beckley and his kindly wife. I don't know if they it count exactly. Kid sees him there again. So could I use this water to fill up my health? To to get to if I had health, let's see. Uh, nope. Okay. It's just a... It's just any old pond. Oh, I have grenades. Let's see what that, how that works. Pretty good. Not bad. The Calamity was basically the apocalypse. The Thunder okay. Brothers didn't make it. The fact that they were turned to stone specifically they never is saw interesting. What it was like beyond the walls. Nor did the bird boy didn't make it. Boom. 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 Nobody made it. So this is like my old hometown, I'm the guessing. Johnsons. They didn't make it. The Jawsons. Not the Johnsons, the Jawsons. Grady Senior. Grady Junior. They didn't make it. Hello? Him, he survived. What? He did? If he did, then where is he? He just crumbled to dust. The kid finds proof enough that man ain't from around here. So are these not actually them? These are just like some maybe like a memory of what just was happening here? Without that man, we wouldn't be here right now. Whoa! The core survived as well. Oh, the core survived. Uh, he is the kid in the situation. He survived, but then Jay came. Wait, I am confused. But I'm gonna throw a grenade there. Looks like a good spot to throw a grenade. Wait, 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 so that guy was alive, but he was a statue, but the other statues weren't alive? I have to say, I'm what quite confused about the specifics much. here. Kid oh! The clue, but he says this. That person looks alive. Hello. We have to go. Please. Survivor agreed to return to the Bastion. He looked like a statue. He was just frozen with that look on his face. He's a proper gentleman, that man. His name is Zolf. None of the statues are alive, okay. No hiding, he's an Ura. That, uh... Looks like him may never been that's a relief. In Ceylandia. He's relieved to see a living face or two. He's relieved that all those statues he destroyed tonight. weren't alive. Both to him and to each other. For the first time. Zolf is alive, though. 
Clutches off the life in Calondia before the calamity. Resolve, Ceylondia was like a second home. He's real worried about us. So they only had to pay to one voice actor for this game. To the east. He was born in the Tazzle Terminals. The Ura sent him on a mission of peace to our city, and he's lived here ever since. We fought the Ura decades ago. Oh, they both had something to say about then. that. Things are different between us now. Right. Does that do something or am I like Okay, so we still don't have that weapon or that weapon. The grenade's cool, I might hang on to that for now. Do we have a new brew spot? Not yet. We need to be level three. Squirt Sido will toughen you right up. Too bad about the musty aftertaste. This was their first game. A manageable scope is important, but you will hear other voices. Kidding. Well, I'm not knocking Kidding. them for only having one. Uh... Oh, whoops. I forgot we grabbed the cork. I'm not knocking them for having only one voice actor. It's just. The cork. It's just funny. They remember. That's why this place is coming together. That's why things are gonna be all right. Killer Seven has a really small voice cast. You can hear the same the voice actors playing multiple characters, and you could very much tell itself. that it's the so same voice actors. Entirely. Oops. Too careful these days. You know that used to be a fine spot. Well, look what we have here. Memorial. Uh, Chronicles Past Future X uh, Efforts. Okay. Lost and Found. Uh... Alright, should I make a memorial or Lost and Found? What does everyone in the chat think? Oh, that's what I found. I found plans for something uh, when I beat the that one challenge. It's because Supergiant Games had one primary voice and a couple characters here and there. Then they went all in on voice talent in Hades. The narrator here is Logan Cunningham, who plays the boxer in Transistor and Lord Hades himself in Hades. Ah, okay. So they, they really like this voice actor, basically. That's fair. Um, I don't really have a preference on which one of these things I should build. Guess I'll just do the first one on the list. A kid can pay respect to the old world and earn it in kind. Build the memorial in the bastion. Earn first prize in. Oh! Okay, so we did this, so can we like claim the reward? The valediction. Gain more Just by. Another one of my sketches. Okay. Nothing more. Lost mementos. Okay, so now we have uh, challenges basically, our little achievement goals. The Tenomorphos in a single well-placed shot. Times them without missing. Counter blocking melee attack. Blast pull clip. Okay. Huh. Words can't express what happened, but they're all in-game chivos. All right, how the, how do we uh, go back to up to the sky now? Because I think my Skype jumpy thing was up here, but oh, there it is. We tracked down a couple more cores near the edge of the city. All right, so there's a core here and there's a core here. Toughest fort in the city, nestled shrine to the god of commotion and order. Okay, sure. No use praying to the gods these days. No time for it either. <laughs> we were just taking a nap. Folks used to make pilgrimage here to pay their respects to Pith the Bull. Pith well, the Bull. Well, the gods are long gone now. 
the Otto, what controller. did, uh, what control scheme did you play when you played this? Did you use a game controller or did you use a mouse and keyboard? Or did you use a, a mouse by itself? Or did you use a keyboard by itself? It stood for something once. Something real. In time, though, the bull stopped being a symbol and started being decoration. Dang, there's even more statue people here. Loyal subjects. Another weapon we we need to find. Piff makes a decent scarecrow at least. Oh God. That Piff lights up like a rodeo. Wait, did I just heal? Do you do you heal over time, or did I heal from blocking? I'm pretty sure I wasn't auto healing before. It breaks into bits. Huh? Must have been guarding that shrine. Huh? Or maybe I was like picking up health without realizing it or something. So what'll it be? Invoke the gods, or tell them off. I don't know available. Hith. Foes shall grow weaker to move and to strike. Uh, okay. Pith. Wait, what? Why are foes stronger? Foes grow weaker to move and strike. Why did me activating that make the foes stronger? You can't play a top down with the keyboard and or mouse. Well, Fact played it with the keyboard and mouse, apparently. Oh, foes shall grow quicker to move and to strike. Oh. Okay. My brain read the word wrong, replaced it with another word. All right, yeah, let's... Oh, but we'll get more XP and money. We could try it. I guess we'll see what it's like. Oops. Kid decides to press as well. We're gonna die now. Because of that. Well, if the gods are alive, they must be plenty sore. Oh yeah, we were like picking up fruit or something. Kid ain't never seen one bags that quick. Maybe old Piff put a scare in him. Past Pith's trial. Hello. The gods don't care about trinkets. We found a stuffed animal pith. They grew less fruitful, the gods turned them into commodities. Well that could also be like a a way of uh, honoring them, I guess, in a way. It's like a little Kid ain't found a core, but at least he found himself's precious shrine. Bet you the core is this way. Oh, never mind. Wait, so we didn't find a core. Does that mean there's no core here? Let's see. If we leave, it'll probably tell us. I think that's the second place there was supposed to be a core we didn't find. Now Christmas Elf said I play with all home. handicaps on. Oh, I got some alternatives in mind. Hello. Zolf doesn't touch the thing. Says the god of commotion is no children's toy. Okay. The Ura feared the gods. We turned them into toys. 
put their faces on our walls. Um, there's something going on here. We keep finding new materials for weapons we don't have yet. Uh, Pith or- okay, so yeah, we did. Core was nowhere to be found. Okay. Core detected. And there's a proving ground. Another proving ground. Alright, maybe there will actually be a core in this one. I'm still not sure of our exact, like, end goal. I'm guessing we want to find all the cores. <laughs> okay. We just belly flop fell on all those enemies sure and crushed the city them. Marshals may be gone. But now the force crawling with big bags. Uh, you learn more as you go on, but right now you're collecting cores to power the bastion. The gotcha. Oh, you could see their health bar. There's like a circular health bar around the enemies, aren't there? I think I just realized that. Let me see. Yeah, that's definitely a health bar. Wow, okay. That helps us estimate. Oh, they have automatic, not automatic, uh, heat seekers. Oh, well, we could do that. Well, windbags, young and old, keep fighting for the fort. New weapon, scrap musket. Just can't handle. Ooh, now we got a gun. Ooh, it's like a shotgun. That's awesome. Oh, that's sweet. I love shotguns. Shotgun! I think that's my favorite weapon in Metal Slug. Windbags ain't much different from all. Windbags. All they want is a warm place to stay and a decent meal. There was something down here, though, before we go up there. We didn't go this way. Yeah, look at that. We almost missed. Ouch. Is that it? I think that's it. I feel like Link in a 3D Zelda game right now. Definitely doing more damage. Maybe I should turn that thing off. What's this? Bags can't use partial supplies, but a kid sure can. Uh, uh, I'm gonna keep that for now. Whoops. As for the wind bags, Cinder Brick gave him enough heat. Oh, we actually found a core. The new fort ain't theirs by right. Can't blame them for one, though. Play the marshals. Show surpassing skill with the scrap musket. Oh, cool. Sweet. So we can go claim one of our prizes. So many of those sorry things hold up inside that old fort. Oops. 
That's a background. So I must ask, are there bosses in this game? Because, uh, you know how I feel about bosses. Uh, if you do, we'll be forced to take your pro gamer card away. Oh, that's fine by me. That weird... I didn't know that the... I mean, I was just trying to see if it would be worth getting, like, the extra money and XP, but, uh... Honestly, I can't tell the difference anyways. And I don't really spend money all that much, so... I don't, I don't think it's really worth it. Because I feel like I'm taking more damage now. Grenades missed. Oh, well, at least we didn't die. Yet. Security is playing gone haywire. Windbags gummed up the works. Oh God, we're gonna die. Oh God. They trapped a kid in the middle of the forest parade ground. Avoid these as best as we can. Everything in sight with that new I'm trying. Blow something up, please. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is just a mess. Okay, grenade. Try to utilize that. Oh, well, it hit something. Let's heal just in case. Destroy everything though. Kid There's one of them. Is that their name? Glutus and Glandon? There we go. Um, can't remember. There's a climactic encounter. Or there's climactic encounters. Age old art of circle strafing. <laughs> or something that looks almost like that. Marshall's badge. Kid used to dream of getting a Marshall's badge, but not like this. Memento. Anything else around here before we? All right. The sky is a welcome sight after all. That. And now ain't nothing left for nobody. Down Did we find a core before. here? I feel like we didn't find a core here. Maybe we did. He didn't say we didn't. Kid shows up just as Zolf's telling me about his own journey to the city. Oh, apparently we did. Zolf's travels ain't much compared to what the kids had to go through for all this. Marshall's bad. The Marshalls seem like good men, he says. They treated him with dignity. That's nice. Zolf brought his antique smoking pipe all the way from the terminals. So this place is starting to like fill up with more little items and things. Even since the Ura surrendered to us, the marshals kept a wary eye on him. Seems the only thing the calamity saved for Zolf was his smoking pipe. 
Can I do something with it? Oh, I fell. Yep. It wants me to do something. It looks like it wants me to do something with it, but I don't see an action. Calling them memento specifically is a very deliberate choice. I'm just gonna leave that alone. Alright, shrine. Lost and found. Oh, let's do the shrine so we can turn that thing off. Wait, it was off? Was it off? Here's another one. Foes shall have vengeance in the throes of defeat. No one bound. Peace and weird. I that's fake. That's weird. Alright, um. Ooh, do we have something for our for our gun? We have any one of these. Uh, speed while defending, critical hit chance, carry on if defeated, damages surrounding foes if defeated. Active only at full health, and then this one's active only when you're below a certain amount of health. Those are so specific. I think I'll try this. Are they punch your so zesty? It'll let you carry on through the worst of times. Okay, so we do have an upgrade for the gun. Um, range increase, but speed decreased. Spread increase, but range decreased. Ooh. Oh, sorry, spread. I keep reading these words in my brain. So that makes it a bit less of a shotgun. Um, polished barrel designed to enhance the spread. Uh, I don't know if I want a specific one or the other. I have a lot of money though, I feel like I should. We could try this. You want to tune a scrap musket, you start with the barrel. See what a ranged shotgun blast might be like. Act a little more like a rifle, perhaps. We won't mess around with the other ones yet, since we're gonna stick with the the shotgun for now. You can always try it on switch to the other for free, yeah, true. Alright. Core detected. Uh, another proving ground. Um... Proving grounds. Well, I guess we'll go to another core. I don't know if it are those proving grounds like really uh worth going to or the what do you think? River flowed free and wild till the calamity drank it all up. I feel like I might Maybe end up just like water, just wasting a lot of time there the trying to get all the prizes. If you want more upgrade materials, that's usually the quickest way to get them. Ah, oh, okay. You know what? There's still a pretty good amount of spread on this. This might be better. Because then we have the opportunity to do more damage to things farther away. We're on a boat. She sent some squirts crying home as she leaves port. Maybe Nelly knows the way to the core. Maybe she can slip right past all the clamor on the coast. Or maybe not. A security skiff pulls up port side. Ouch. Nelly's just another windbag to load. Ouch. 
Ouch. Oh, I should be blocking, huh? I forgot I could block. This is definitely one of those games where there's just enough different things you have to worry about that I'm gonna forget about some of them occasionally. Oh, when you hold block, you, uh, it clearly shows you who you're aiming at. Oh, and they get stunned when you block. That's cool. probably have an easier time with the others than you did with the bow. Oh, the other challenges. Uh, maybe, yeah. Yeah, we could try one after this, this level. how the the lock on shot knows to go around your shield that's a pretty smart uh, let's stick to what we got Oops. and so Jay played the rest of the game as a turtle with a shotgun apparently <laughs> it's not bad I mean look at that Pretty cool. Then the kid hears an unusual sound, like a hundred. Oh, do we need to leave? I think we need to leave. They've been watching us every move. They had their own eyes. Oh, we hurt people as we roll through them. I think a little bit. Oh, there's birdies. Oh, they like me. Okay. Dude, we're f this fire doesn't hurt us. us only wish we could fly times like these. There's more boats down there. they hit something. That's a good security system. Oh, we need health. Oh, we need health. Oh, we need health. Oh, oh no, you killed my friend. Can we grab that? Yes, we can. Oh, no, my friends are gone, and that one spot keeps blowing up for some reason. That's weird. We're going in a hyperdrive. Ouch. by blocking kid shoes him off no one got the bag know how many times kid nearly fell off the bar back there a good couple of times now listen close what the you should remember this wait what happened part. why go to prosper uh this is different we went s Somewhere else, apparently. Used to take an enterprise and man, or plain old. You went to, out to a path. hole, through a hole. Did I? I missed that part. 
These guys don't like each other. I went down a hole. The water goes down the hole. The city was the most beautiful place in the world. We all knew that. But on the other hand, some folks just yearn to see the things they're told they can. Whoa. Then that's why you go to Prosper Bluff. Ain't it? Was that like a touch fuzzy get dizzy moment right there? button just destroys my way back go again? whoa didn't expect that to happen I thought that was gonna send us home for a second yeah that's the one bum, 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 bum. did we just remember a song ouch Tricked. That's just debris floating. I like how parts of the, the soundtrack are very like Middle Eastern y, and then other parts are very like, like Old West. Cowboyish, it almost reminds me of how Samurai Jack does a lot of genre blending like that. gimmick of this place is there's a closed door so you need to hit a switch which breaks the bridge to the switch and then you gotta fly back looks like there's another path up here though oh no it's like getting maze like Or was the other one the secret thing? It was, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I can't keep track. I'll just keep going. I can see this game getting kind of maze-like. Did we ever go down here? How the game reminds me, uh, you have a block button, by the way. Don't forget that. Definitely a hallmark of Bastion and Transistor. Transistor blends cyberpunk and art. Navoa. What is that? Well, no point I don't know if I've heard that phrase before. Right. Sounds pretty French, though. He oh, he Good idea. Suffice it to say, Lamenta? kid ain't coming home. Oh, I never claimed this prize. Whoops. Some parts are pretty tedious, said uh, Christmas Elf. Yeah, besides, it's like the song goes. Oh, there's another person. Someday those tears are gonna spill. And they're singing a song. And their name is Singer. So Fill from the stream, that's nice. Uh oh, I'm stuck.
They'll be here before too long. Who will be here before too long? We darn near celebrated when the kid got back, didn't we? Zolf never thought he'd see a fellow her again. We become fast friends. Calamity has that effect on people. So we're slowly starting to build a little community. It's a painting well, style. You'd recognize it even if you don't know the term. I could Google it. Let's see. Uh, sorry, it's going to pause the game. Uh, uh, yeah, that looks familiar. All right, back to the game. A scientific journal written in Zolf's native tongue. He learned so much from it. Too much. Too much. If only I'd known half the secrets of the calamity were tucked away in that book. I'd have worked to translate it right away. He's talking as if all these events have already transpired. Most of the Earth never got a taste of Ceylandia's fine goods. Unless they were born and raised in the city like Zia here. Girl tried to run away from home one time. But the marshals stopped that, didn't they? So many secrets in there and she can't even read it. Hey Kiko. Kiko said, turn. what's up, my enemy? Yeah, me and Kiko are battling. Uh, it's the, the, the late night war between Kiko and Jay review. Oh yeah, I need to claim some bounties. The Give my dad money. Kept the city's peace. They can rest easy now. Uh, nope, nothing new there. We could build something new. I think that's our last spot we have available. Lost and found. The lost and found. Here, kid takes fragments Whoops. of the old world. It makes him whole uh, again. scrap musket skill. Blast sent straight up in the air, causing a flurry of projectiles. Oh, special skills. That sounds pretty cool. Oh, not as effective as a warning, but very effective otherwise. Final warning. Okay. Machete, I don't want that. Ooh, I want to upgrade the, the musket. Let's do that. Hell yeah. All it takes is some fragments. And the bastion makes it What's up, new. Uh, Jasenio Hall? What kind of game is this? It's, uh... You, you'll see. Lost and found are all the items you missed in previous levels. Oh, okay. Isometric action game. Dang, I missed all this stuff. Hammer. We, we still use the hammer, don't we? Yeah, maybe we should get this. Um, that's cool. So if we missed important items, we could just buy them. Spirit. Uh, oh, spirit. Okay, yeah. It goes into our, our alcohol drawer. Automatically retaliate when injured. Counter blocking. Goddess of pain and pleasure. Foe strike with greater veracity. Okay. Do all of these god things just make the enemies stronger? Foes shall gain resilience. That's ridiculous. Why would I want that? Why would I want to make the enemies stronger? Whoever made this game is crazy. I do want to kind of see what that's like. I think I only missed one memento so far. That's not bad. Uh, Fackleberry Finn. Um, boy, what y'all know about being substantive and jurisdictional? I don't know, Cosbeats. That's that's something that someone knows about. I'm sure. All right, let's see here. Defend for a few moments using the bullet shield, then attack. Okay. Uh, 
knockback. Attack without moving to uppercut. Oh, those are both interesting. Let's see Ain't what that's all about. Go of his old friend with a sturdy grip like that. And then can we upgrade the gun? Or damage or greater knock knockback. I think we want more damage, so we're gonna stick with this side. Oh, I already like this side better anyways, so the marshals learn to pack those shells full of fire. Um yeah, that's how the idols work. More challenge, more rewards. Maybe that's just like a thing that's in games that I'm not used to playing so much, but that's it's it's kind of a weird I like the idea of like more challenging modes in games, but to have challenges that you could turn on or off is like kind of foreign to me. The city, to the wilds. Like when I'm playing through the base game. Oh yeah, let's try another proving ground thing. Um Here's a shotgun one. Why not? I like the shotgun. Is Arthur Morgan narrating this game? Yes, actually. It is uh, the actual Arthur Morgan. Marshals learn to make every shot count. Destroy all targets in a few shots. All right, let's go for it. The pop all those nasty gourds without wasting ammo. Those marshals didn't get far on the first few tries. Damn. I feel like I'm gonna fail this unless and knocking them off counts as killing them. Unless you're allowed to do con thing about a lot more shots than the other challenge, this one seems a lot harder. Let's see, did we win anything? Oh! Second prize, okay. So the, um... So you are you are allowed to use a lot more shots. 15 shots or fewer, okay. All right, we could try that again. We could do better than that, I think. Personal time for just him and his favorite musket. I do wonder if a better spread would work with this more though than a longer range. Damn, I don't know the uh, good strategy for this actually. Plenty of gourds to go around, even now. Marshals like to fine tune their muskets to get better results. Whoops! Damn, we're definitely not going to get it now. Did a little better, but we need to get 15 shots. It's definitely possible. The orchard grew over so quick, the marshals made it worth. Probably heard them together, then blast them off. Maybe. I'm wondering if I should go and, and change the 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 uh, musket ability so that it has more spread. Maybe that's better for this type of challenge. I don't know if the herding thing works, because I think they kind of stop each other when they run into each other. Yeah, I need to go. Now the weird part is you were allowed to roll in um, the first challenge place, but it won't let you dodge roll in this place. I don't know if that's just random. All right, let's... Ah, oh, that one. Damn it. Didn't hit anything with that shot.
Oh, this is a hard one. Damn it. The closer you are, the more knockback it does. Oh. For some reason, I, I uh, instinctively kept staying like far away from these because they're spiky, I guess. Yeah, let's be right on top of them and see if that helps at all. Oh yeah, they went way farther back. Okay, I think that might help. I think we need to go look at that. How come sometimes I shoot through them? I think I need to go and increase the the spread over the range. Damn it. Yeah, we're not going to do it. Yeah, let's go let's go back to the place and let's increase the spread cuz the range I don't think is helping us much here. Wait, can we not leave? That should be the leaving place, right? Let's just get back, okay. Uh, the second tier also increases knockback. Marshals did more than just stand around shooting, of course. Yeah. He ain't all that shy. All right. Uh, where did we do that? Wait, no, that's not right. Is it up here? Oh, we have the third thing now. Reduce penalty to long range damage. Custom stock enhances Muska's performance across its effective range. Faster reload. Um, that's not really gonna help us anyways. Oof, greater knock knockback, yeah. Let's, oh, you could choose either side. I thought you had to stick with one side this whole time. All right, so let's do the spread and cause greater knockback. That I think should help the challenge a lot. Though I wonder if the upgrades actually affect the challenges because you get your own special like weapon in the challenge zones. And it seems like that would be something where they just give you a neutral version of the weapon to use, kind of like an RE4 when you do the target practice. Like you use the merchant's weapons. But I don't know, I guess we'll see. No, yeah, that was clearly way more spread. Knockback could be better. The, the range definitely is a... Uh... You know what? Yeah. There we go, we did it. Sweet, there we go, yeah. The, the spread was a lot better up here. Just a few shots. Just a few shots. Sweet. First try. Kid probably could have made himself Marshall one day. All right, so let's go put it back to what it was because uh, Musk's performance. Yeah, that would be good. Boom, boom, and then let's get this to master the musket. You gotta get rid of the recoil. Yeah. Oh, we need to check out the hammer. I forgot about the hammer. Oh, we we just haven't tried it yet. Yeah, let's let's actually try it first before we go messing around with it. Cool. It's a hammer challenge. Oh, uh, we can check that out too. The city's unwanted things all met their end in the yard. 
Watch when this challenge is like also smashing things like bits. more suited for the other upgrade. Quickly destroy a hundred objects, okay. The quicker they worked, the sooner they could go. Folks learn to plant their feet and put their backs into it. I feel like this one could either be really hard or really difficult depending on I guess we'll see how strict it is. Others would plot a course to navigate that sea of junk. Because there's so many things that could be an object. Damn. Is it going to be under 30 seconds? 27 seconds. So we have to find like a really... Uh, something wrong. That's a good item. We have to find a very... This one lets me dodge roll. Kid pays another visit to the scrapyard for old time's sake. A very, like, efficient path, I guess. This one I won't stick around and keep trying if I keep failing it, because it seems like something that's a little bit... harder to perfect. Work too slow, all you got was a sore back. Folks invested their earnings to forge even better hammers. God damn it. Hmm, like same exact time. I'll try it one more time. I think I already have like the highest damage. So I doubt that any other upgrades would help. Unless there's a third hammer upgrade that like really does something amazing. Always plenty there for smashing. Ah, that's a rough one. Uh, stationary attacks do more damage for bigger items. Oh. Ah. I could try that with that idea in mind. Sure, we'll, we'll give that a shot. Damn it. I seem to... Wow. Damn, that's like a whole five seconds off I, I, I don't have. I don't... I don't see myself doing that one anytime soon. There must be like some like specific Everyone path you're supposed to take or something, but there's... You know where to go. It's hard for me to figure that out because there's just so many different types of objects. Oh, more damage. Okay. More critical hit percentage. So we should definitely get this once we uh, have enough money. I don't think it'll help against, it'll help with the challenge, but it, it'll just be good to have in general. All right, I guess we'll try to find another core. We don't want to waste too much time on the proving grounds. I know they're just gonna get the harder. Unknown. Place to meet a man alive. Place is so raw, even the calamity couldn't cook it. Not all of it. This place looks very different. Hidden smash. Oh, dueling pistols. You know what's better hmm. than having a slinger pistol in a fight? Heaven too. 
Interesting. Savage things lurking at every turn. Kiss faster than a slinger with those guns. I like how there's just barely not enough to kill them. Good thing pin cushions can't see. I think I want my shotgun back. Oh, there it is. Got the core. The welcoming committee scrambles to attention. Didn't expect the kids so soon. They shouldn't have let the guard down. Oh, that was fast. Getting that core was one thing. Getting out. Oh, we just go right back. Another. Oh, never mind. He digs his way out of the clearing, but the wilds won't let him go without a fight. Um, surprising amount of weapon variety for a relatively simple action game. All too easy to lose one's way out in the wilds. I'm surprised we can't come back the way we came. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, I can see there's probably a lot of different, uh... Wallflowers survive the oh, you could destroy these, like, little navvies. There's like a cheese plant. Oh, that's right, we have a special attack now. If we hold shield and then... Oh, it does a lot of damage. Masons. Uh, okay, cool. I guess that's the most damage we've done with our hammer so far. I like how the bad guys are just being shipped for whatever reason. Hmm. This thing just protects itself, that's kind of annoying. Oh, we are hurting it. Are we? A little bit. There we go. You know what I just realized? How come my grenades aren't equipped anymore? I can't use my uh... I don't, I don't see any special skills available at the moment. Ouch. Oh, we could leave. Sweet. After all, he's got the final core. His oh, the final core. Right. We beat the game. Well, no. Uh, was it tied hey. to your musket? Not oh, maybe. Long shot. Oh, maybe all the special skills are tied to things. I, I, I guess I assumed that they weren't all like that. See, Zolf and I were just wrapping up a heated discussion. Zolf can barely muster the words. The calamity failed, he says. But I will not. The calamity that, failed? Zolf leaves us here, alone. But I thought the calamity was just the bad event that occurred. What does he mean by it failed? The fractured monument. Evidence of Zolf's rage against the Bastion. Something brought out a flash of violence in the man. He attacked Rux and severely damaged the monument and fled in anger. Zulf cursed the city. Cursed the Bastion. Cursed me. Said he was going home. Hmm. We ain't much for pleasantries. When Zulf got through reading that journal, he just snapped. Started smashing up the monument until I tried to stop him. It was a bad event that occurred, but perhaps there were those who caused the bad event for bad reasons. 
and he seemed upset that those reasons didn't weren't completely accomplished apparently so a number of weapons we don't have something greasy more ammo bullet scatter eliminated I don't know what those are yet. But we we wanted to save our upgrade for the hammer. Which we should be able to afford after we cash in our reward. It's lost and found. Trying. The Masons. We built the city strong. Now there's only two of us. Doc said not exactly. <laughs> Well, just the fact that he said the Calamity failed, and the Calamity was a not good thing. Uh, all right, we can afford it. Oh, we got way more money than I thought we did. I thought it was only given to give us 70. 100% to critical hit damage. So that's only when you get a critical hit though. Um, I'll just keep up the base damage. Seems like a good idea. It's funny how I always seem to like hammers in games where you can choose weapons. All right, time to put the last thing. Oh, some, something's going on. But there's a way to put it back together. The shards. Hello, what's that? All of them to nurse the bastion back to health. Wow, he just—we would have been done, but he had to ruin everything. So we need shards now, apparently. Are those shards in that bat in that box up there? The city brought the shards to the wilds. Now the kid's gonna bring them back. Shard detected. Everything else, I guess, is a proving ground. Okay, now we're looking for shards. Do they mean like the thing we put in broke into pieces or the shards something else completely? In search of shards. First stop, Joss and Bog. You'll get lost in that The Jossins. That looked a lot back. like the crystals you're supposed to find in uh, Crash Bandicoot. Well, I let him go. What else could I do? What could any of us do? Zolf put us in a real bind. Hurt the Bastion bad. <laughs> He did put us in a real bind. But the shards can make it better. Oh, I forgot to switch my musket back on. Whoops. Oh, there's a shard. Shame the only place to fill that prescription is out here in the wilds. This place is intoxicating. I think I died. Don't know where he's gone. Might be gone for good for all I know. Ouch. Damn it. I didn't get my shard. Wherever he is. Somewhere I've never been. Somewhere I never want to go. Hey, this is where the girl was singing before, wasn't it? Or maybe it just looks similar. Oh man, I really wish I had my musket now for these types of enemies. This sure looks like Prosper's Buff. Is that a place I should know about? Oh, there she is. Welcome him with open arms. Um. Oh, this is the the place, our hometown. Yeah, I should block them. Down on them. It's a lot safer. Let us survive it. 
Oh man, that's a lonesome ghost of a gas villain. I'm glad they dropped a lot of health. What do you say to a kid who's seen too much? Just so we're going back to the places where we met the other people, it looks like. Surrender? I'm Zolf, Libra. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Now the kids see something stranger still. Did anybody else survive? Sure enough, he finds. Him? Beggars, lunkheads, wallflowers. What? Who is that? Why does he like us? Oh god. Wait, he doesn't like me? He changed his mind apparently. His, he had a heart for a second. That was strange. I'm a little confused why they had hearts for me at first and then it went away. See, there they go again. Huh, weird. Kid sets foot inside one of Ceylandia's famous watering holes. Oh, this was like the very first place we were in, I remember now. The game felt so different back then. It's a freaking huge popcorn machine. I don't have any special abilities. I goofed up by not going back to my musket. Also, uh, I like that the game doesn't buffer your inputs because sometimes I'll hit the heal button twice and like by accident, but it only registers the one heal. Here's a kid whose whole world's all right, snoozing there on a rock in the sky. Yep. He wakes up. I'm just fooling. He sees what's left of the rippling walls. Years of work undone in an instant. Um. He sees what's left of Piff the bull. Uh. Um. Look at this stuffed animal. Oh, it's me. Left of his friend. His friend. He's come undone too. I just beat myself up, apparently. He sees what's left. What's left. I'm done. Okay. Where am I now? The court. <laughs> Stuck. Oh. We just packed ore, started a fire, and went to sleep. So that must be before when we woke up, since we keep going back in time. I think. Thought we lost him, but it finally comes to. I was just napping. Hey, look, the shard. The shard ain't lost either. Not anymore. Now to find a ticket out of this hole. Oh my god, that doesn't look cool. It's a pokey from uh, Mario. Ever heard 
part of a lung blossom. The hell is that? It's bigger than the stories say. Boat lickers dig their nasty thorns into his heels. I could just stay back and shoot and I'll be safe, more or less. Damn, I really wish I had grenades right now. You know what, let's just do my most powerful attack. Hey, we killed him! Too bad. Mother only knows what happened in the bar. That's lung blossom naturally. Speak of it. Ah, okay. Lung blossom, of course. A shard is like a poor man's core, but beggars can't be choosers. Oh, so then they explain what it is after we went to all the trouble getting it. That's it. A few more shards like that, and we'll be back in business. All right. A single shard can breathe new life into this place. Wait, so everything has something going on the here The shard's now? got enough juice to spruce up any of these places. Upgrade the distillery. Oh, I can upgrade any of these places. Okay. Which one would I want to upgrade? The distillery. I don't really even think about this one because they're all like passive upgrades. Uh, weapons. I wonder how that would be upgraded. Upgrading weapons. Lost in the One of those a foundation. What's in the foundation? I forgot what that it what that he was even for. Oh, that is lost and found. It just says foundation. Shrine. Memorial. I'm thinking. Upgrading weapons. That's probably too good. Oh, it says right there. True Forge grants access to two additional upgrade tiers. Okay. So it seemed like the game, if it was a shorter game, it could have been coming to a close right there. But now they're basically saying, like, nope, there's there's more to this. Trapper Snare. Powerful secret skill. Uh, potential spirits from a private reserve. Okay. Additional inventory, including new spirits. Oh yeah, two additional upgrade tiers. I might go with the upgrade one still. Uh, new idols. Those don't really seem that. Uh, new vigils. Okay, I'm gonna do the upgrade still. My original instinct, I think. Ain't saying much. But that's the greatest forge in all the city. Now. Only thing is, now we need to ha find the materials for it, or buy the materials. But in, in any case, we need a switch to our... Oh, look, I guess we could go to the grenade. But I guess once we swapped weapons, like, we lost the grenade skill for whatever reason. Alright, there we go. That's how we like it. Uh, let's see, we've been streaming for about two and a half hours. Don't forget to switch back. You mean like the, the musket, yeah? So how far into the game are we? Are we like almost... The city tried to use the shards almost a third of the, the way in, maybe? So much for that plan. I'm assuming after we find all the shards, there's like another thing that we're gonna have to start looking for. Um... I'm actually curious about what the shield challenges the accused always got a fair shake in Ceylonia. some used to take the bull and Ooh, trial. those prizes look a lot different survive the trial without taking a scratch you walk away a free man
Do I just... Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't have weapons, I'm guessing. This is actually good practice for the counter thing because I hadn't really been doing that. Damn it! Oh, he's their, their attacks are so slow. It's kind of hard to judge. Oh, I did it again. Ah, oh, it's like fighting Soto Popinski. He's got those weird delayed uh, hits. Wait, I don't have to counter. If I just block and this happens to hurt him. Oh wait, maybe we do. You're somewhere around the halfway point. Oh really? Because it's supposed to be like a nine hour, yeah? Oh, Jesus. He attacks a lot faster. Sure hit me, though. Damn, I don't think I'm gonna get any rewards. Oh, this is this has got to be one of the harder challenges because it lasts so long, and all these different enemies with different like types of attacks. Oh, still not done. Ah! Oh. oh yeah, they can get killed without the counter. I'll be surprised if I get any reward for this. Step aside, is that a hint that I want him to just fall off? I don't think so. Oh! Okay, apparently yeah, he does. Okay, you did actually get... But let me guess, no hits in order to get the last reward. Three hits or fewer. Okay. Six-ish hours if you don't worry too much about that stuff. Ah, okay. Well, what the heck is this? Oh, it's just a bunch of money. Which is nice, but that makes me care less about the final reward. Which is a good thing, because then I'm not going to redo this. I care more about, like, special items than than money. Well, a kid always wanted to compete in the bullhead trial. Alright. So we're about halfway through. So maybe I'll play a little bit more, and then uh, we might actually finish this game up then on another stream. I wasn't sure if I was going to finish this game, but I didn't realize uh, that it was going to be a shorter one. Is the final... Is our final goal then basically to find all the shards? Ankle gators used to roam the wilds. I'm assuming there's enough shards to upgrade every store, so that means like five more shards. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, our, our shotgun is very powerful now. I love it. These beasts, they don't like company. 
Our hammer's really being strong too. Uh, sneaky decoy. I guess that's a new ability. One or two more final stages after finding all the shards. All right, cool. So maybe we'll get one or two more shards then, just to have some uh, buffer time for the next stream. Even the brushes learn to fear this place. Oh god. What am I doing? I have a shotgun. A very powerful shotgun. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. Uh oh, ankle gators. Whoops. They called her Queen Anne. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of the shark. Ankle gators love shiny things. Oh no. Oh yeah, I have my grenades again. Oh no, it's a decoy now. Sneak attacks cause critical damage. Ain't time for pecker hunting, but the kid can't resist. Oh. I countered him when I fell. They say you can't hurt an ankle gator unless it's Oh raining. no, our and hammer. Raining. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. And we could throw it like a spear, apparently. Oh, see these guys especially, we I was killing them with the hammer. Now we uh don't really have that choice. Okay. Sharp sticks make queen ants. So she backs off a bit. Whoops. Those pink cushions been living. I'm gonna probably be boring and stick to my hammer just because I'm I'm so used to it. But at least there's more upgrades we could get for it now. This SpongeBob music that's playing now. Oh, did we level up? One bad step in that tall grass and it's Queen Anne. Ouch. Bunch. The closer you get to an ankle gator's leg, Ouch. the thicker the tall grass grows. Kids gotta make a run for it. Oh, okay, so we have to run. That old gator's right on his tail. Yep. Okay, I'm a little... I guess we hit a dead end. Can we just knock you off? That'd be nice. Yes, we did. Hell yeah. Um, guess we're not supposed to go that way. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll just make it pop out and then I'll... Then I'll run. There's got to be a secret over here. Ankle gators don't much Ankle gator egg. That's why there ain't many around. Wanna know how to find an ankle gator lair? Use the kid as bait. Use the kid as bait. That looks like a place to escape, but I guess now we can't use it yet. Oh, there it is! Nowhere else to go. The shard sitting in plain view. They say if you run across an ankle gator, you better keep running. So I think I need to make it pop up with the decoy, and then I can attack it. Probably. Yep. Bastard. 
Ouch. That hurt. Let's get that out of Oh, we can leave. After all that, kid left the anchor. I wonder if you can actually kill that and get a ton of XP. At first I thought you had to kill it to before you could leave. Oh, Queen Anne, don't mind us borrowing from a treasury. All that trouble for a single shard. But you know what? It was worth it. Alright, we'll do one more level and then uh, call it they a night. They said Queen Anne was just a folktale. Now there's living proof she ain't. You can kill her if you want. There's a lot of optional choices. Okay, gotcha. We talk a little here and there. If I did, I'd probably want to use my hammer anyway, since it's a lot stronger. That gator's a crazy gal, but so is the gal who promised to look after her. Huh? Ankle gator? It's just there now. What the? Can we? do something regarding this? Or is it just a little bonus thing? Alright, what are we going to upgrade now? Let's think about this. Trapper snare. Eh, we could see what that is. The arsenal's complete in case we need protection. So a whole upgrade just for a special skill. Sophisticated snaring kit that in instantly Springs open and mobilizes foes. Trapper relies on this for hunts that didn't go as planned. Well, it takes a whole upgrade to do, so it must be good. My good old musket. Keep the wilds at bay. Pack yourself a musket. Another spot light. of this open. Um, speed while defending. Critical hit chance. Um, we do defend a lot. Cinder brick style sure goes down smooth, then stays in your gut like a rock. All right, one more. The next shard should be fine. Even if we don't find a shard, we'll just do one more uh, level, because there is a chance we won't find a shard, as we have experienced in the past. Know how Ceylandia became the richest city in the world? Two words. Point Lemaine. Okay. Guess we will learn. Wait, what the? What? Okay. My shooting button and my melee button? They've swapped. Didn't I go and switch to my hammer, or did I... I must have swapped the weapons completely wrong. So now my things are completely... Yeah, let's go back. I just remembered there's the go back bastion button. I was so confused for a second. I must have goofed up. You know what it was? I know what happened. Because these aren't necessarily melee and projectile spots, they're just two spots. And I accidentally swapped this to the musket that I should have swapped to. Them. That's what happened. I guess I technically could have just swapped those two buttons, you're right. But, uh,. Yeah, my brain was like very confused at first. Few places steeped in history and sweat so much as this. Huh. Point Lemain. He he said something else that time. If the wild could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. But now, the greatest outpost oh, yeah. in the city line. The muskets way better against those guys. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Oh, a bigger shotgun. Kid might as well pick up what they left off. 
Oh, it's like a sniper rifle. Interesting. I like sniper rifles. But is it worth how slow it is? Maybe once you power it up, but I, I think my musket's still better. Point Lemain seen better days for sure, but it ain't done. That's the only thing that I have with the have where you can only swap weapons at, at the base is the fact that when you pick up new weapons, you automatically swap to them. Ah, oh, cause see, I would have really preferred to have my uh, musket for these guys. Who? Oh lord. Apparently they're strong against the... If this is like the later Supergiant games, there's different line reads for different playthroughs of levels. I mean, seems like it. Oh. I'm sure this gun could be good once it's powered up, but the base version of it is just so, like... I don't know. Did I always have that? Whoa, Jesus. Oh, this guy. Okay, good thing I have my hammer for this guy. See? Take care of him way easier. Yeah, maybe if they gave you an option to switch back after one or two combat encounters, it wouldn't feel quite as much like they were forcing you to use a new one. Right. And I could always decide, like, not to pick it up, but... Skipping over new weapons just seem, seems like a weird thing to do, so... It takes fancy footwork on the rail. The wall, flowers, and coughing fungus everywhere. Only one way to cure a cough like that. Oh, I haven't tried my new skill yet. I should probably do that. Try it against him, he's pretty tough. What did it do? <laughs> I know it's like ensnare or whatever, but I'm not. I don't think it did anything. Hmm. Oh god. Wait. There's gonna be something down here. Out. Closed off, but now it's split open like a rotten pineapple. From what I know, Hades is like kind of like a roguelike game, right? Where you you keep going like of the grand rails you could more fight technically beat the game pretty quickly in like one go, but you ago, just you're generally not going to because um it's a roguelike. I guess that oh that's nice. Um. Yes, good. This is exactly what I wanted. It's almost like they knew. Uh, you only see the credits once you've beaten 10 runs. Oh yeah, I'm sure there's like a final, final thing. But, but what I was gonna get at is like, I think it would make more sense for a game like that where you maybe have like, you pick up weapons automatically and you can't just swap them because in that type of game, you're kind of just like, each run is going to be different anyways. Whereas this game, since it is like a, like, you keep whatever you get forever and then you pick between them, it would make a bit more sense to just be able to swap whenever you wanted, if that makes sense. Okay, so maybe we didn't get this. Like maybe they wanted to do a roguelike, but they just didn't. 
That was when bad. they were doing this one. The rail must have shook the earth to the bone down in those dens of theirs. Dude, I can't wait to see what the uh, the new musket upgrades are like, because it's already such a good gun right now. <laughs> see how much easier this is now? I want those little green eyeball guys to show up again so I can teach them a thing or two. They, maybe they just have a lot of defense. They are gone though now. I still don't get what the snare, what the super special skill that we got is supposed to do exactly. Turns out he's got a company up at the radio station. Waiting for it. Oh, I love this hammer. At first he thinks it's Zolf. Oh, it's a new person. Turns out he's wrong. Hello. This is for you, says the man. Then wham. Then wham, did they hit me? That's rude. Looks like I'm just taking a nap. When the kid comes to, the man's long gone. Yeah, when Something he's laying on the ground, it looks almost like a 2D drawing. And then he gets up and it's like 3D. Sealed note. Addressed to Zia. Crisby, written by Zolf, must have found another Earth survivor to deliver the message. The only words the kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. No, they started playing the greatest hits of Wham. Ah, oh, of course. Should have realized. Well, what's a kid to do? Better deliver the I note the to where it goes. You took the hit. And you took that note. Did I find a shard? I didn't even realize I found a shard. That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? I don't know. We're going to find out. Here's your ceramic stockpot. I'll give that Finding to you first. Finding gourmet ingredients ain't easy these days. But we'll take what we can get. The note says it plain. Zia, go east to learn the truth about the calamity. And it's I'll a Smash cool. Brothers invite, I'll be clearly. Waiting. Sincerely. I don't know why Zia Zolf. got it and not the main character, but, you know, it is what it is. Zolf's messenger was one of his people. Wonder just how many of them survived. And what exactly Zolf told him. Um, alright, let's just see if there's anything upgrade or whatever before we... I don't get the trapper snare. I guess we... Let me read that again instantly springs up into a mobilized foes in the user's vicinity maybe they have to walk over it or something and they just didn't I never got to try that either I'll have that on for next time um okay is there anything the one for the Bastion Bourbon. Alright, we'll check that out later. Alright. Well I think they said when you when you go to Oh, we never saved this. 
When, when I was reading about the autosave, it says it doesn't autosave in the Bastion itself. So I'm just gonna go drop into a, one of the challenge places real quick. And then out just to, to be safe. Okay. They bring my attention over here, but I guess it's just an aesthetic change. Uh, what should we upgrade? Maybe the store? Damage resistance. Health by striking foes, that's awesome. But we get less health potency from our health tonics. Turns zealous. Uh, counter blocking. Interesting. We'll have to look through those next time. All right, let's just drop into a challenge place real quick. Side challenge place. There we go. Ceylonia's army only took the best, and the best of them trained on Trigger Hill. The triggers believe they were nothing. Yeah, their yeah. Rifle. I'm not actually gonna do the challenge. I just wanted to save. Okay, apparently that saved. All right, all right. So interesting game. Um. I will admit it's not exactly the type of game that's really up my alley, just in terms of how it works. Um, like, you know, while the different upgrades and all that, this is probably pretty minimal compared to a lot of other games, but uh, I have sort of that weird thing where it's like, ah, oh, which one do I do? So here I've sort of been sticking to like two weapons just because it makes it easier for me. Um, it, it's it's pretty... It's It, it holds up pretty well um, for what it is. Like, it can get a little repetitive with the types of enemies you fight. And the story is, like, somewhat interesting, but it's I don't feel super compelled to, like, oh, I really need to see what's going to happen next, because we don't really get to know too much about these characters. Like the dude who showed up and then kind of went crazy and left, it's not like we were, like, we grew attached to him at all. It was just some random guy who then was randomly weird later. But um, you did say this was their first game, so I can definitely see how they were still, you know, figuring things out. Uh, it's not bad by any means. Um, I can see there's like a lot of side stuff you could do. Seems interesting. I probably will finish this since it will probably only take one more stream to finish it anyways. Um, would you say the main similarity between this and Hades is just maybe the gameplay in general? But other than that, I'm sure they seem like, from what I've seen, like pretty different games. Like, I wonder if I would actually like Hades more than this. Um... Because I figure with Hades, yeah, if you want to beat the game, like, do a successful run, you probably have to know a lot of what options do what and which options work for you better and which weapons and stuff. But it also seems like the kind of game you could just play without having to think about anything and you just, oh, I'll just pick whatever and that's how the run goes. I don't know. Um... I, I am definitely still interested in, in trying Hades at some point. This game is, is uh, pretty fun, even if it's not a game that's generally for me. But uh, I think we will be finishing this, since it will take one more stream. Or more likely, take more, one more stream. Um, certainly rough around the edges compared to their later games. You would almost certainly like Hades more than this, but Bastion's bones can be felt in all supergiant titles, if that makes sense. It definitely does, because I know a Hades is sort of like an isometric -y type thing. Otto said Hades is the closest to Bastion than the other games they've made. Okay. Yeah, it's not like... I don't have any, like, clear problems with this game at all. 
it's just not something I probably wouldn't have continued in this on my own if I was playing by myself. But um, since enough people, I'm sure, are, you know, do like this game that are willing to watch and that makes it worth it more for me to finish it. Plus, it's not going to take like 10 streams, so, you know, there's no harm in, in continuing. And maybe I'll really like the big epic finale stuff, who knows. But yeah, that's going to be it for tonight. Thanks again, as always. Um, maybe we will finish this tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we might finish this tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. And, um... Yeah, that's going to be it. You guys have a good night. Oh, yeah. I was muted. I meant to say, y'all have a good night. Catch you next time. Uh, yeah.